any effort when you see before your own eyes how those who should be responsible are instigating irresponsibility i go back to emergency days i remember the 50th year uh, celebrations when uh, all parties all of us actually took an oath all these are empty i think promises which we make not only to ourselves uh, but to second, the country i would just one one second not only 50th 60th 70th and i had the pain of going through each word of it yesterday everyone agreed to that and the conduct here you are not the benefit of seeing it from here one member has reacted to it i saw everyone physical moments as as if they were in battleground in physical moment charge physical moment concerted moment aimed at destroying an institution a sacrilege taking place before my own eyes only one honorable member has spoken sir never spare any effort when you see before your own eyes how those who should be responsible are instigating irresponsibility i go back to emergency days we need to learn our lessons if we don't do it well in time this virus will destroy democracy i know they are not targeting me they find it indigestible that a government is in place for a third time continually honorable members that is not emanating from me it is emanating from will of the people and in democracy if you do not honor verdict of the people and that verdict has to be honored primarily in this theater would any child any impressionable mind any of their younger family members approve of it you cannot imagine let me tell you honorable members i screen everything but when i go home i see 360 degree of it and i find what we have here i must work more to get them on reconciliation but beyond a limit even lord krishna could not avoid it i am not lord krishna i am not a shade of his i need support of the house what has to be done is not for this section or this se that section what has to be done is for future of our country can you imagine the input which i get every day as a structured manner and the activities i would appeal to the honorable members please be informed things have started as a narrative oh neighboring country we are next then wiser council no then the gentleman says what i say is not in private but in public and he and fortunately belong, belongs to a lineage and to a distinguished noble profession the other one with experience of external affairs does it the challenge i know is not to me at all in the entire mechanism the challenge is to the elected government that they want to start here and i share with anguish anxiety pain and concern 
I avoided virtually fist fight in the house by adjournments. Fist fight here, I avoided. I am so surprised and yesterday I had the occasion in the meet, meeting of the leaders, one of the senior, senior most member of this house, I don't want to name, for whom I have highest regard, who always claimed that his party never came to the well, he gave his signatures that my action was unprecedented, unilateral. In my chamber, he was present, I could not hold my tears. There are men only next to Devgodaji in this house. If Devgodaji writes a single sentence that your action is unbecoming of chairman, my entire life is at stake. I put a question to him before all the leaders present there. How could you give your signature here? I was only a phone call away. I don't want to become party and therefore I was digesting this. But enough is enough. Democracy they want to put in peril. This temple of democracy, they want to sacrilege and they want to do it in a vengeance manner in the presence of their top leadership. When I looked for sanity, what I found, outrageous shredding of sanctity, I have seen much more than all of you have seen. And therefore, this is an occasion. History will remember what everyone has spoken here. It is not for the sake of it, just. Therefore, we had the very wise counsel from very senior most people, including former Prime Minister S.D. Devgoda. Sir, I need guidance from the leader of the house that on an occasion like this, we need to take steps. If not taken, we will regret.